Hello, this is the transmission that came out of my last focus, the gray one. It's the one that I was talking about having a noisy bearing in it. I found it. Okay, it's the uh, one of the output shaft bearings. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, yeah. So through the Ford parts department, the only way to get this bearing here is to get like this whole hub here. And that's about $300. So, no thank you, that's not for me. <laughs> but if you look closely there, it's a 6305RS. Amazon sells those. And there's also Timkins that, and other brands that sell that, but there's a 2 in front of the RS, so I'm not too sure yet if that's compatible. But yeah, a 10-pack for $35 on Amazon, so you're not, you're not going to necessarily be in a tough spot there if you're in the same situation. You can get some and put them on yourself and save a hundred, couple hundred dollars there. Now also this retaining snap ring here that uh, holds the bearing on this one here is also not serviced separately from this whole gear. Isn't that something? So if anybody's interested, I'll uh, eventually figure out what I'm going to do here and put any kind of part numbers or measurements or links down in the comments below and I'll pin my comment after I do that. But yeah, to anybody curious, here's what a uh, tore down DPS 6 looks like. The only thing left would be to pull these rails up, slide the forks out, and take these uh, output shafts to the press and pull the synchros off. There's going to be some bearings underneath on the actual shaft itself that the um, gears slide on, on top of there. Here's another bearing. There's a total of three of these exact same bearings here. This one doesn't have a snap ring on it here. There's these uh, stupid feed tube seals, okay, that uh, are cracked and kind of misshaped. I'm, I'm told those aren't a big deal to have in, in there at all, but um, I want it to be right, but uh, it looks like that'll at least function for now. I'll uh, think about what I'll do there. Yeah. Those are completely sheared off on my other case, actually, so I'm not even going to use that one does definitely appear that the other side of the output shafts here slide into those bearings. So that means these uh, straws will kind of come up through here and in turn just go down in here and point into the empty spot here in the casting of the case. I've only been in like maybe a couple dozen of these. I haven't learned a few of these things yet. So yeah, 99.9% .9 of the problems are the clutcher TCM. So but yeah, anytime you take the case halves apart, you also want to replace the input shaft bearing because it's pressed down. And when you pull the case up, it presses the bearing off and it can, it can wear it out or damage it there. Also, whenever you open it up, you want to get a new tube of TA-16 Motorcraft silicone and clean up the case halves really well here. Get any old silicone remnants off of there. And I would venture to say if you ever go this far, replace the case because these uh, shift drum stops shear off. It's about a $400 case half, so it's up to you. Yeah, just a quick little video here. Here's what a DPS-6 looks like with the case all off of it. And a um, little tip and advice there for replacing the output shaft bearings. They are Chinese from the factory. I don't know if I said that, but the ones on Amazon are also Chinese. And $35 for a 10-pack. You need three of them here. Uh, if you want to do all three, I might just replace the one that's noisy right here. And it looks like I might be, uh, once again, re either reusing the snap ring or f trying to find something, find the diameter of this and use that. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching. I hope it was interesting for you. Have a great day.